My name is Judith Tam. Um, I am the president of the Richard Tam Foundation. I have been determining where gifts have gone for the last 14, 15 years. I am Sophia Mariver, the principal investigator of the Judith Tam ALK Non-Small Cell Lung Cancer Research Initiative. There are 100,000 ALK positive patients a year. To be candid with you, I was diagnosed with ALK positive lung cancer September 14th. On September 15th, I started my first medication. It was amazingly effective. I felt significantly better in a few days. Although the patients often respond well and the disease shrinks in size and the patient begins to feel better, slowly the tumor adapts to the presence of the drug. It wouldn't work as well and it wouldn't last as long and I thought, no, oh, that's not good. I want there to be something to turn to, and I spoke with Sophia Mariver, and it's unbelievable what, what she thought of and what she's put together in a, the most amazing short period of time. At the University of Michigan, over the last uh, five, six years, we have developed a unique technology called organoid drug testing to test individual patients' tumor cells removed from the patient at operation, and then tested in the laboratory. Every week I hear there's more people, world-renowned, internationally known experts in this field who are on our scientific advisory board. There are oncologists, there are surgeons, there are scientific researchers, there are genomic specialists, there are medicinal chemists. How is it that the ALK oncogene initiates this cancer. We feel that as a team, we'll be able to untangle those initial steps and it's possible we can create new drugs that address those very first steps in transformation. So instead of treating advanced disease, we may be able to treat very early disease. They are getting all the models for out cancers in existence to have at hand, cell lines and animal models, all of the ones in existence. We believe very strongly that we will make progress and thanks to this gift, we'll make that progress at an accelerated pace. I wanna make a difference. I'm hoping to make a difference for myself, but I could also be making a difference for hundreds of thousands of people now and in the future. And I'm so happy to be able to be doing this means a lot to me and I feel very grateful.